She actually has a printer. Guess what guys, I got a video clip of it this morning. Out of envelopes. Here is the final pile. I need them to be way cheaper. It's a madness. Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Thursday morning. Mom and I are here <laughs> and we are grabbing our bags because we are about to go run some errands. First thing this morning, we need to go to Walmart. We need to go to the dollar store. We are out of envelopes to send transfers and they got delivered to my house this morning. So they're here, but we didn't get them. Kind of frustrating and I don't have them. So we have to wait. So basically we need to go and find something that is going to work for the transfers to send the transfer orders out. And we're gonna look for these little paper baskets to collect orders in while mom does the transfer orders. And we have so much apparel today that also needs to go out. So we have a very hectic when Thursday on us. Grab our sounds something like a Lunchable or something. To a back. Lunchable, <laughs> some sort of yummy treat for lunch <laughs> so that we can eat here in the office yes. day because it's gonna be nuts. Well, mom, we're trying to figure out there. That's well, that's what I was trying to say. I don't know. I feel like this might be big enough a 9 by 12 because most of our designs are 11 inches except for like a really long like ho 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 design. But we still have some bags that that could go in. I mean, we, maybe we could do one of these too just in case. Mm -hmm. That's huge. <laughs> but what about these? This is like 10 and a half. Yeah, that would be perfect. Oh, but they're so expensive. I need them to be way cheaper. <laughs> 10 and a half by 15. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do those. This is the same size, so should we just get these two? Yeah, We should be fine, because big ones can go in this. Yeah. And then regulars can go in these, and then we still have small ones in the office. Okay. okay. Could not find the baskets that we wanted to use for orders, so I think we're gonna pop over to the dollar store next. We're in the dollar store. We're over here trying to decide. We have these bins or we have these bins. And I think we both prefer white <laughs> over like a crazy color. So I think we're gonna go with these. We've got like 40 of them here. And basically we're gonna use these just to collect orders before packing. We did also get some little garland that we can put in the window for Christmas. Yeah, these were the other option, but they're a little too small, I think. I kind of like, I think I like the white better. Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we are back in the office. Mom's getting started on the cutting. I'm uploading some files to order our transfers. We've got our bins, our decorations, which we'll probably get to at a, another point. So we'll just put those over there. And oh, I forgot we got treats. Yes. Of course, we had to have a little treat. And we just ended up getting these little mailers. So those will work for later. But I think I'm gonna let you guys hang out with mom for a bit while she cuts these and goes through them. And I've got to organize myself over here so I can get ready for making apparel. a little glimpse at all the orders going out today for the mail lady these are all transfers so thank you if you've been placing a transfer order y'all rock <laughs> okay y'all so we had a lot of apparel come in today that we need to get put up on the shelf so then i can pull them for all the orders that are currently in this stack down here because we have a lot of apparel things that need to be done today too Okay, next part of the task is I have all of the wholesale and regular apparel orders here in this stack. So I'm going to be collecting the apparel from the shelves and then of course, getting the transfer that matches them. And I kind of showed you guys this in our last vlog. So if you want to see kind of this process and what that looks like, go check out that vlog. A little later. Here is the madness. <laughs> now that it's all laid out on the table, you can see kind of where the wholesale orders are and then where the individual orders are from like Etsy and the website. It's a lot going on. Lots of white sweatshirts because we are all out of sand. This is normally what the sand or beige color looks like, but the brand Gildan that we get them from is not, they have not been restocking them anywhere. So here's what I now have to press today. And I didn't even turn it on all the way. So it's not even heated up. Oh, goodness gracious. Mom is still cutting away, of course, too, because this is a big roll today. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, while mom is collecting and packing the transfer orders, I am gonna be over here on this side pressing t-shirts. So I'm gonna put you guys somewhere where you can like see both of us. <laughs> In fact, I have to stand on this rubber mat down here because this thing likes to shock me all the time. Someone requested in the last vlog that we actually go through and talk to you guys a little bit more about transfers and some of the sizing that we offer. If you guys are new here, we actually sell these transfers. So if you are a t-shirt business, you can be like me back here pressing all these t-shirts with our different transfers that we offer. We offer a bunch of different designs on our website and we also offer custom, but most of our designs that we offer come in three different sizes, 11 inch, eight and a half, and five inch. So let me show you guys what those look like and kind of compare them to each other. For example, this this is an 11 inch right here. Let me see if I can get you guys a good eight and a half example and then a good five inch. Okay, so here's an example of what the sizes look like. This is an 11 half, or this is an 11 inch. This is great for all adult size t-shirts from small all the way up to like 2XL, 3XL. And we always recommend this for adult sizes. Then this is eight and a half in comparison, kind of in the same design. It is slightly smaller, as you can see when it's over top. This is gonna be great for those extra small, small shirts or even kind of teenager shirts, um, maybe even larger toddler sizes. And then I don't have a five inch in this exact design here but this is a five inch example it's all about the width not usually about the height unless otherwise stated but a five inch as you can see this is gonna be much smaller this is kind of like the size of my hand and this is really great for like toddler shirts baby shirts pocket tees things like that this would be good for like larger youth sizes or youth sizing or even extra small or small shirts and then the 11 inch is really great for all adult shirts. So I hope that some of that sizing kind of clears that up for you guys. That will be a little bit more helpful. Another thing to address, we get questions all the time about how do we make these transfers? How do we do that? What's the printer we use? All that, yada yada. The printer we use, <laughs> we have a special lady who creates them for us. She does all the transfers for our shop right now and she's really amazing. She literally helps us like every single day and she has it based out of her house. So in her garage, she actually has a printer and guess what guys? I got a video clip of it this morning for you so you guys can finally see it. So this is her printer. It is a super big industrial printer that prints out these giant rolls of these DTF transfers that we sell in our shop and she is the one who's in charge of that machine the maintenance keeping up with it all that kind of stuff we don't want that here in our shop we do not have the time for that nor do we have the staff for it but you guys ask questions about it all the time here it is this is what it looks like I can't even give you like a direct link to this because there is no link to this one I don't know what to tell y'all but I know you can google it if you want um the machines are pretty expensive but you know if you're, if you're interested in it I would definitely do a lot of research um those machines are very expensive and have a big learning curve but again if you want to learn about it go research it there's lots out there all right we are about to take a little lunch break but here is the progress i've got order back there and all through here these are mostly individual orders for people and then we still have all of the wholesale orders stacks so that'll be a whole project in itself these are just the little individual ones left so hopefully we can get a good chunk of this done today because it's only 12 o'clock which is really great lunch courtesy of a walmart today <laughs> mom has a southwest chicken wrap and i just got a turkey oop, and cheddar sub and we both have Cheetos! Yummy! A little later. Just wrapped up our lunch, took a little bit to chill. The weather, you guys, outside is so, like, mm. gloomy and gray today. Mom was saying it almost even looks like it could snow, but it's like 63 degrees, so that's not happening. Let you guys come hang out with Mom. She is currently working on packing the transfer orders. Thank you. 
All right, we've got transfer orders there. Mom is just about wrapped up. Only about four more of those left. This apparel needs to be packed soon, and then we'll get pressing on the wholesale orders next. The transfer tables are looking a bit more clear, so we love that. And we've got the orders all kind of organized through here, which we came up with such a better system this week. Basically, we're keeping all of the apparel in a binder and tracking that by what needs to have the transfer order, the apparel order and etc and then we can make notes on it and then all of the transfer orders that basically we just print out the day before's orders and put them behind each other and then if there's something that we need to note change or like we missed one and have to add to it those get put over here and then we take pictures and take care of all that so we're feeling a lot more organized and we did get more table risers they're coming in the mail i think this week what else did we get we had to get some more envelopes because as you guys could see from our Walmart trip this morning, we ran out and it's because we ordered some and then the date was taking so much longer than anticipated. So we're ordering a bunch now so we won't have the issue again. Now I've got our stack of orders here for the individual items. I'm gonna go through, we're gonna pack these up. Maybe I'll even be able to do a little bit of like an ASMR version of this because it's just chill and quiet in here today. We have got all of the regular items packed along with the transfers in there. Mom is working diligently on these wholesale orders. This is a really cute little follow on one. So I'm gonna help her pack these and finish wrapping up these. Look at all those, it's so cute. I love it. Here is the final pile of everything. It was quite a busy day, but we got it done. How do you feel today, mom? Tired. <laughs> tired is the best way to describe it, but tired in the absolute best way. I feel like we've made a lot of progress this week. Alrighty guys, that is going to bring us to the end of today's vlog. Right here on the screen for you guys, I'm gonna link our last vlog if you wanna go and check it out, as well as the entire playlist full of them so you can go and binge watch them. Down here is gonna be our subscribe button. We upload like once or twice a week here on the channel. And down here, you're gonna find the link to our website if you want to purchase our transfers. There's also a link on there to our apparel page too. So if you wanna do any of our t-shirts or sweatshirts. So without further ado guys, that brings us to the end. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.